He's been to Afghanistan, worked as a fighter pilot, and lived his entire life scrutinized by the world's media. But it's a new challenge that's leading Prince William to really lose sleep. Yes, little George, his new baby, instilling a healthy dose of fear in the young prince that he's never dealt with before. The first portraits of the king-to-be were released tonight as William opens up for the first time about the far more pedestrian challenges of being a pop. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. There he is, Prince George, the new heir to the British throne, eyes closed and fast asleep. He was just days old when his maternal grandfather, Princess Kate's father, Michael Middleton, snapped these first public photos in the garden of their family home in Buckleberry, England. And today, another first, Prince William opening up to CNN about his first few weeks of fatherhood. He's a, he's a little bit of a rascal, let's put it that way. So he either reminds me of my brother or me when I was younger, I'm not sure. But um, he's, uh, he's doing very well at the moment. And a second snapshot with the family dog, Lupo. The prince says there's no family rivalry between the two just yet. For me, Catherine and now little George are my priorities, and Lupo. Yeah, he's coping all right, actually. I mean, as a lot of people know who've got dogs and bringing newborn back, they, they take a little bit of time to adapt. But um, no, he's been all right so far. He's been slobbering sort of around the house a bit, so he's, uh, he's perfectly happy. In his first royal appearance, baby George practically shut down the city of London. Prince William, just like any other proud parent. I, I think I was on such a high anyway, and so was Catherine about George, that really we were happy to show him off to whoever wanted to see him. As any new parent knows, you're only too happy to show off your, your new child and you know, proclaim that he's the best looking or the best everything. This modern couple wants to show the world their normal parents. You know, it's one of those things, and I, I'm, you know, it's nice that people want to see, see George. So, uh, you know, it was, I'm just glad he wasn't screaming his head off the whole way through. Well, I think Prince William and Kate, they try very hard to maintain their private life. It's very important to them. They, they were living up in Anglesey for over three years and going to the cinema and visiting the local co-op supermarket. And they do try and fiercely protect this private life that they have. But, you know, when they're back in London, they are in the, in the public eye, in, in, under the glare of the world's media. And... You know, releasing a photo like this is their way of trying to put across that they are a normal family or as normal as possible. Prince William wants to be a hands-on dad from putting the car seat into place in front of the world. I had to practice. I really did. I was terrified that I was going to do some, uh, you know, it was going to fall off or what. Yeah. The door wasn't going to close properly. <laughs> to driving his wife and new son home from the hospital. Well, the fact that Prince William had to put the, the future King of England in the car seat in the back, of the, in the back of the Range Rover under the glare of the world's media was a pretty surreal situation. But William is keen to, to try and stamp a sense of normality on, on what is essentially not a normal situation. But he, he's fiercely protective of his family and, and, uh, and his private life. And trying to do things in his own way is very important to him. I think the last few weeks for me have been very different emotions experience, um, something I never thought I would feel myself. And I find, again, it's only been a short period, but a lot of things affect me differently now. There are many differences from when and how Prince William was raised. Take the formality of the baby pictures. Quite a relaxed setting with Prince George compared to this photo of a considerably older Prince William after his christening with his father and mother, Princess Diana. These newly released baby pictures of Prince George come less than two weeks shy of the 16th anniversary of her death. And once again, conspiracy theorists are reveling in fresh allegations that Princess Diana and her companion, Dodi Al-Fayed, were not killed in a car crash, but they say were murdered by British special forces. Scotland Yard is now looking into the sensational claim that Diana's death was not an accident. A new book, set to be self-published next week by author Alan Power, claims the British government had Diana killed because they saw her as a threat. While the Scotland Yard says it's scoping the new information, officials say they're not opening up a new investigation. Think of it this way. Imagine if somebody came up and said, I have evidence, new evidence about the Kennedy assassination. Would we just say, oh, forget about it, it's obviously not true. No, we'd investigate it. In the meantime, Prince William says he's attempting to live as normal a life as possible, very much reminiscent of his mother. Yeah, I'm as independent as I, as, as I want to be, and, and same as Catherine and Harry. We've all grown up, um, you know, differently to our uh, other generations, and I very much 
feel, if I can do it myself, I want to do it myself. Prince Harry was just in Angola earlier this week, following in his mother's charitable footsteps. He surveyed the area that is still plagued by dangerous landmines. And last week, Prince William took a few days leave from his parental duties to attend an agricultural show in Wales. But he's already beginning to sound more like a dad than a prince. And let's face it, how many princes change diapers? Prince William calls it a badge of honor that he was the first to change baby George's diaper, or as they call it in the UK, a nappy. I wasn't allowed to get away with it. I had every midwife staring at me going, you do it, you do it. He's a little, um, he's growing quite quickly actually, but he's a little fighter. He kind of, um, he wriggles around quite a lot and he doesn't want to go to sleep that much, which is a little bit of a problem. Prince William's already thinking about passing down the values his father instilled in him, like protecting endangered species in Africa. At this rate, I'll probably whisper sweet nothing's in his ear. I'll have toy elephants and rhinos around the room. We'll cover it in sort of, you know, lots of bushes and things like that, make him grow up as if he's in the bush. That is, until he's old enough to take him on a royal safari. But that's the least of his concerns for now. At the moment, the only legacy I want to pass on to him is to sleep more and maybe not have to change his nappy quite so many times. But don't be fooled by baby George's quiet slumber in this photo. Well, as a few fathers might know, I'm actually quite looking forward to going back to it. <laughs> For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York.